slash attribute is a command for changing and modifying the attributes of entities. You can think of attributes like stats that control things like your armor, your attack damage, your flying speed, things like follow range of mobs and stuff like that. Let's get right into it. The first argument of attribute is a selector. This can be your player name, or it can be at A, which is all players, at E, which is all entities, at N, which is the nearest entity, at P, which is the nearest player, at R, which is a random player, and at S, which is the current player running the command. I'm going to use at S. Then you can decide what attribute you want to set. There's a bunch here. You can scroll through this list if you find something that looks interesting to you. I'm going to set my scale, because why not? This will be pretty obvious. And then you can choose what action you want to change. So first, let's just look over base. So if I set base here, I can get and set the base. Let's get my base scale first. My base scale is one. You can also set a scale, but this is only used for um, execute store commands. So don't worry about it for now. You can also set your base attribute value. My default scale is one. Let's set it to five. <laughs> now look at that. I'm huge, hugumboid. I can't reach the ground though. <laughs> Let's set that back to one. And that's all for base. You can also get that attribute value. And this will return the current attribute value. So let's say that I had set my base to five. If I ran get, I would get five. If I ran base get, I would also get five. But in a little bit, we'll see why that's valuable. Next is modifier. This allows you to add or remove modifiers to an attribute, <laughs> if I can speak in a normal way. Add, remove, or get mod uh, modifiers to an attribute. So, if you want to add a new modifier, you have to give it an ID, you have to give it a cool modifier. It doesn't really matter what you type here as long as it's unique. We set a value, so let's do five. And then we have some options. Add multiplied base is going to basically do five times the value that's the base value, so in this case one. Add multiplied total is going to do five times whatever the current value of that attribute is. So for example, if you had two uh, generic scale modifiers, one that multiplied by five and one that multiplied by ten, for example, and the one that multiplied by ten was add multiplied total, it would multiply the base by five, so you'd get a scale of five, and then it would multiply that by 10 It would multiply the value, which is currently 5, by 10, which would give you 50. So, this is a big difference. <laughs> add multiply, uh, sorry, we just did that one. Add value is just going to add that value to the base. Mm. So if you did add value 5, then my value would be 5. My value for scale would be 5 because it starts at 1. And then if you put a add multiply total of 10 on top of that, it would also be 50. Same thing. Uh, let's just do add multiply base for now. Whoa! <laughs> so cool! You can then remove modifiers by referencing their name, so you make sure you know, you remember it, um, so that you can remove it. <laughs> uh, and then let's re-add it so that we can get it. And if you do modifier value, get cool modifier so it gets you the value of that modifier specifically let's remove it again because I don't need this scale cool modifier okay actually let's do this now you can see the value of get so if I run get now it's gonna return six which is my base plus the attribute scale if I use base get, I'm just going to get one. Because I did not change my base value, I just added a modifier on top of it. Now this doesn't make much sense with scale. Uh, let's remove it. Because you can't get scale any other way in the game. But uh, let's work with armor. Let me get into survival mode here. And let's change my armor base. So if I set my base armor, let's set it to... Well, let's get it first. So you see my base armor is zero. You have node armor by default. Uh, let's set it to five. Now I have two and a half armor points. If you can see them there in the, oops, that's the wrong key. There you go. If you can see them there in the, the hot bar area. <laughs> okay. So if I have those 
you know, that's my base value. So if I run get, I've got my base value of five. And if I add a, let's see, let's see if I wear, wear a piece of armor, give at S, um, let's just do a leather helmet, okay? So we just put on a leather helmet. You'll see that if you can see that behind the chat, <laughs> that my health just, my armor just increased by only half because that's how much armor a, uh, a leather helmet adds. So that's, well, it's one armor. All right. So that's what happens if we set the base to five. Sorry, base at zero. That's what it is by default. Now let's add a modifier. Um, I don't know, let's just call this armor. So it's armor, sure. <laughs> armor, there we go. So it's easy to remember. And let's actually multiply all armor values by five. So you see nothing changed here specifically. But now when we put this helmet on, we immediately have three armor. And it's actually five armor. Um, that's because we just multiplied this value by five. So it's now adding five armor instead of three. Neat. Oh, add multiplied total. Sorry. So it's actually adding six armor instead of five now because uh, we're multiplying one by five and then adding them together. So you get six. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how that works. That's the math. Okay. Okay. Um, if we add another value that's add multiply base, let's do a two on the add multiply base. Oops. Armor two. See that that increases the armor by two points because we just added, you know, two more points to the base basically. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, but what if we uh, added two to the multiplied total? Sorry, armor two already exists. <laughs> armor three. Boom! That just filled our armor bar. All right. So that multiplied the current value of our armor rather than the base value of our armor. So now we have. I think probably just exactly full armor. It's a stack of things that's confusing me, but uh, you know, you get the math. So that's sort of what how modifier works. Basically, you can either add a value directly to the base, you can add a value directly, or you can multiply a value by the base, or you can multiply a value by the total. If we keep the current value of our armor, it's 24. If we get the base of our armor, it's still zero. If we get a certain modifier, so let's get um, let's get the value <laughs> value get of uh, armor. So armor is five. Armor two is two because it was just two, and armor three is actually only two. That's actually not what I expected that to be. It's also only two because it technically only has a value of two uh, that we just added on top of uh, that we multiplied by the base. All right. So that's how the modifier command works. There's lots of fun modifiers in here for you to mess around with. I encourage giving all of them a try. It's super fun. Uh, you should try out movement speed. <laughs> you should try out jump height, you know, things like that. Step height, mm, step height boots, anyone? Super fun. Hope you guys found this helpful. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.